hey, I want to tell you about an idea that I stole from Ted Green. It's this thing I got from tedgreen.com, which is an amazing resource. Uh, one of his former students just compiled a bunch of handouts and a bunch of arrangements and lessons and, and um, you know, some great commentary. And um, Anyway, I highly recommend you check out that resource. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so anyway, I, I checked out this, this idea that uh, Ted called uh, George Van Epps-ish counterpoint. And what it is is a series of drop two, dominant seven flat five, or dominant seven sharp four voicings, just four notes, just one, three, sharp four, and flat seven, okay? Um, you know, since I'm working on all 165 four note uh, combinations, I got to this one and I checked out you know, what Ted Green had to say on this one. And it's very cool. Um, so he's got these drop two voicings and these um, a couple of the intervals he approaches by a half step. So here, here's the idea, you know, just it's, I'm playing a little different than what's written, but. Got it. As many of you know, I'm writing an etude for all of the um, four note sets. So there's 165 unique four note sets. Um, and if you discount inversions, there's 43. So I basically got 43 groups of four note sets and I'm doing an etude for all 43. And this particular group is very interesting because it is semi-symmetrical, as in there's not four unique uh, inversions Root position and second inversion are the same. And the first inversion and the third inversion are the same interval structure. So there's basically two unique sets within that group. Normally there's four. This is one of the semi-symmetrical sets. It's very floaty sounding. So uh, it works with Lydian dominant. It works with super locally. It works with diminished scale. Is it half whole diminished? And it works with whole time. Um, and some other things, uh, you know, some maybe more obscure stuff like the Neapolitan stuff. Um, but it's a very cool um, idea because it, you can work them out as voicings, you can work them out as arpeggios. Um, like uh, here's the arpeggio. So anyway, I've tried to incorporate uh, voicings and, um, and even the Ted Green idea and the uh, arpeggios and some sort of interval leaps and stuff. I've tried to incorporate those into this etude that you're about to see. Okay, thank you.